So here we go, everybody. It's make or break time. Are we going to challenge the Bundesliga? Let's find out. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Dr. Benji Challenge. And in today's episode, we have games against FC Köln and FC Bayern. Win the Bayern match and the Köln match. And we stand a good chance to win the league. And I'll come back right at the end of the season for for that, hopefully, unless we completely fall apart. But the reason we really want to win the league has nothing to really do with the league itself. It has to do... With, where is it? Where's the rules? The £92.97 million you get for first place. That is a lot of money. And that is exactly what we are looking to do. We are going straight into this game against FC Köln. I think it's how you say it. I don't know how you pronounce the two dots over the O. And we are going with a full team of Bellingham, Jean. I think, uh, actually we start with Reina over Jean. Uh, in a advanced playmaker role. And then we'll move him into a deep line, actually into the attacking Mazala role. And this is how we play. So we got Koble and Goal, Sula. Really shouldn't be Sarni, it should be him for now. Hummels, Hinkapai, Guerrero, Dahoud, Reina, Bellingham, Shade, Grant, and Adiyemi. Let's get into uh, a pretty important match. In truth, we need a win here. To go into that Bayern game with any hope of finishing top of the league. And as I say, I will come back toward the last two games of the season if that's the case. If we do fall off, you'll have a transfer window next week instead. And yeah, nothing's happened since we last spoke, really. I've recharged the camera fully in that time. And you'll be glad to know. Ball in, ball back out to Bellingham, who brings it down. It's over to Shade. Shade takes a touch and kills it just over the bar, though, unfortunately for us. And now it's Schwab. Schwab to Hubers. Hubers to Hector. Hector to Katabak. Katabak loses it to Shade, though. Shade is running and passes it in, but oh, it's a good stop. But to mistake, and Bellingham's there to hammer home his third goal of the season. He's only scored three this season, which... I would say for a man or a player of Jude Bellingham's standards is quite low. And as I said, I wouldn't be too adverse to selling him in the summer to, you know, for 120, 130 million to really fund this team. Because we win the league, 92 million. We get 130, that's 210 million to rebuild the team. And in the Bundesliga, that is quite a good amount of money. Another issue is sponsorships. Now, we are... Not the second biggest team in terms of sponsorships. We are the fifth biggest team with about £52 million a year coming in in sponsorships. Nearly half of what Bayern are making. That is a major issue and an issue we are going to have to look to fix. We need to bring in some big-name signings to sort of boost the um, the stature of the club. We're going to look to do do just that, and it's a great goal by uh, Kareem Adiemi for his 25th. We may also sell Adiemi. So if Adiemi goes, Bellingham goes, and we finish top of the league, that's about £400 million coming into the club right there. That's, you know, you'll get probably £100 ish for Adiemi, £120 million for Bellingham, and then £92 million for winning. And if we do well in the cup as well, there's money there. So there is money, and then when you get rid of the likes of Emre Jean, you get people off the wage bill as well. Very quickly, it'll add up to being able to bring in some really good young players that we can train up, as well as being able to bring in some world-class players now. I'm looking at the likes of Endrick, you know, a striker who will do very, very well when the next gen list gets published. To who now to Hummels, you know, bring in some good defenders that are not Sula and bring in, we brought in Shane, he's going to be worth some money in the future. And that's what we need to be doing. And it's in, and now oh, they've scored. Duda has scored. Not great. Not great play at all. But as I was saying, you know, we've got to just rebuild the team with younger players, really, because the likes of... I mean, yeah, he's gone in the summer. The likes of... Who is that? Hummels. He's gone in the summer. And I'm not a big fan of this hand uh, in Cavani either. I think he is going in the summer as well. You know... 
it, the best case scenario in truth is we take the 92 million, we spread payments on the old never never, and don't worry about the financial repercussions because we're not going to be here long enough. If we win the league this year, next year we win the league in the Champions League. This this save is done. I've got no need to continue the save at that point, and I can move on to I think Royal Betis is next. And it's Schmitz, it's in, and there's a second goal. We can't, we're incapable. We're an incapable team, in truth. Um, if we lose this, and this will be the last episode, no matter what happens in the buying game, I'm not uh, sit- sitting through it. And I'm not watching the replay, neither, in truth. And, yeah, th- there's a there's a thing of saying, right, if we sell all the assets, we can then rebuild the team over two more seasons of this save, and the seasons will be a lot quicker this time. I'm not going to space so many episodes together. I will, oh my God, I will um, definitely, definitely be spacing them out a lot, a lot better. So, um, yeah, there will be a more focus on the Champions League next year. I think next year the Champions League changes, is it? Is it that on this save? Champions League changes next year or the year after, so we might stick around for that potentially, bring in the right players, bring in the right mix of older players and younger players, and just see really what we can do. Like the likes of Dahoud goes, Brandt probably leaves too. Bellingham hits him, Bellingham scores his fourth goal, as Mazzola rolls, suiting him. Um, high value players leave, we get rid of so much of the wage bill. Like we're spending 2.6. 2.7 million a week on wages, and we shouldn't be spending that much on some of these players. Uh, Sula shouldn't get what he gets. Jan should not be on what he's on. You know, there is a very big overspend on mediocre players, and the ball is thrown. Duda, once again, is through, and he plays it. So that, that there spells to me the end of Hummel's participation for the day, and we will have to just bring on um, Sula because I didn't put Mane on the bench. Ball out, and we'll hopefully make that change. Let's make that change, thank you. And that will be half-time. We are 3-2 up, we are winning, so hard to complain right now. But, you know, there's just not that fire that I have with this team right now. I'm like, yes, we can go and win a lot of games. Bellingham through, can you score here, Bellingham? No, he can't. Um... So, you look at the team and go, are these players worth their wages? Like, is this a team that can go and win the Champions League? And the answer is no. You know, you take out Adiemi's goals, there's nothing really behind it. There's no one stepping up. Like, I can be that player that's going to score 26, 27 goals this season. So, you look at it from that standpoint, okay, we need more attackers who can attack, but they cost quite a bit of money unless you bring them in young enough. Someone like Endrick, for example, is going to want a huge wage and a um, release clause as well because we're not good enough to be considered a big club. And the ball now is with Duda. He's passed to Shiki to Schmitz. Schmitz running down the wing. Schmitz is still running down the wing. Schmitz is still running down the wing. And Hinkapai gets it. Out and it's back with Schmitz. And that's uh, just over the bar, thankfully. So, yeah, there's a a huge, huge need of revamp in this squad. And it starts by just getting rid of the dead weight that, you know, isn't adding at all to this team. And then thinking about your high-profile players and do you sell, do you do what you did with, like, Jude Bellingham? You buy them young, you train them up, and you sell them for a massive profit back to England. Do you look at doing something like that? Rainer now uh, doesn't, doesn't manage to get the ball in. And now it's Dahoud, it's Thomas, it's in the box. It's back out to Sula, who plays it to Guerrero. Guerrero, Guerrero still doesn't get it delivered, and it's back out, and Sula will be mopping up at the back. And it's Guerrero to Reina, Reina back to Dahoud, Dahoud, Brandt, Brandt through to Bellingham, and it's just stopped on the line. Thankfully, it stopped on the line there. And we'll make the substitutions it suggests. Leipzig 2 0 up. They're still just about in the hunt, you would say. You This could be a tough game and one where Bayern drop points, which would come in handy. Guerrero now, ball into the box. It's over everyone. Bellingham 
on the other side in this Mazzola role. The new bug fixes have come in as well. Brandt, Adiemi, and um, Adiemi can't get there. And that's a great tackle by the Hood. The Hood still guard. The Hood shoots. And the ball's hit. Somehow, to find the laws of physics, the ball has been pushed up, hit the crossbar, and bounced out. But hey ho, it's okay. And now we see Adiemi pressing from the front, which is what we want to see. And it's now with. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. It's now with Thielman, Thielman to Keynes, Keynes to Ketterberg, and thankfully Emre Jan does get the ball and deals with it, and the ball is hoofed up where Brandt does bring it down nicely. What can Brandt do here? What can Brandt do? He's running it all the way into the box, it's across, and Bellingham gets his hat-trick, I want to say. Enjoying, maybe we've been misplaying Bellingham, but this is doing nothing to hurt his price tag. Um, this is doing nothing at all to hurt the price tag. A, yeah, a Jude Bellingham hat trick and a hat trick of assist for Brandt, who's there saying, "Excuse me, I am part of this team still. Do not talk to me. Do not talk like I am not." That is the end of the game. We'll be back with a big game against Bayern Munich. The next gen twenty three list, the fifty best wonder kids. Look at who's number one, Jude Bellingham. We have we have quite a few of them. On here we have 1, 13, 15, and also we have 24, which is quite good for us. We are going to look into scouting some of these players, probably in the top 10, see if any of them are really within our price range, and going from there, like, there it probably isn't in truth. But this is these are the kind of players that we need to be bringing in, just to fill the squads up. And then sell them on for a massive profit in a year's or two's time. Gavi would be an amazing one to get. Again, another amazing one to get would be Harvey Elias. And there we go. So that's where we'll leave it probably. I'm not going to go through them all, I don't think. No, I'm, I'm just going to do. I have an intrigue in him. And I can't help but scout the Brazilian players here, neither. I am weak when it comes to Brazilian wonder kids. So here is the team. And we are going really off what has been suggested to us by our assistant manager, who I think might be on some form of drugs for suggesting this team. We are going to make some changes, of course. Hummels does not start at all. Never does Hummels start. So this is the team that we're going in with. Kobel, Manure, Sula, Mane, Guerrero, Dahoud, Ozcan, Bellingham, Shade, Brandt and Adiemi up front. Let's get into it. Lose this match and we probably won't see anything to the transfer window. Win this match and we'll be back next weekend for the final two, F two games I think unless we really, really mess this up. But we are currently three points ahead of them. Just where we need to be. Gnabry, though, looking to change that. They are at home this time round. And the ball is with Chalaboa over the top. Mane and Koble does well to pour out a save from nowhere. Okay, now it's Kimmich. We're not the best aerially. That's one thing I will say. But Salah Ozkan does manage to get it out. And Thomas Mio manages to get it out for a throw-in. Okay. As I say, happy just to keep it like this with, what would it be, like eight games left. A win would be even nicer. And Thomas to Bellingham. Bellingham now can have a run. He passes to Dehoud. Dehoud still going to Brant. Brant plays it through to Shade. Shade through to Adiemi. And Adiemi just can't get in front of Upper Meccano. And the ball is booted out of play. And now it's Kimmich with the corner. It's in. Koval manages to get clear shade. Manages to get his head on it. And now he's chasing down Pavard. Pavard finds uh, Chilboa. Chilboa now is running into the box. Passes out to Pavard who throws it in. And that's poor. That's poor from Koval. He's come out to get it. And has got nowhere near it. He has been left wandering in the middle, like a child who has lost his mother at the grocery store, not knowing where to go, where to look, defenseless, 
and we are 1-0 down against Bayern Munich just like that. Oh, what an awful blunder from Koble, who has been a rock at the back for us this season. And just like that, we are now level on points with them. And Pavard now with the ball to Musiela. Musiela can just... It's like, it's like he's just walking walking down the street. Just a gentle jog from Musiela there around our left-back, who is Guerrero, I believe. And it is Guerrero, and now the ball is in, and it's over. Brand keeps in. Sula with his third goal of the season. A powerful shot that not even the great Manuel Neuer could save. A uh, shot that is still travelling right now, and has left smoke in the back of the net. Great play there. Adiemi, man. I think it was Adiemi, man, to get the header. Brandt headers back, and look at that. If Neuer tries to get in his way, we would have had a cartoon situation where Neuer's head is rolling in the back of the net, except there'd be a lot of screaming, a lot of passing out, a lot of different things would be happening. None of them good as Neuer's decapitated head rolls in the back of the net. And Chabot went out to Davies, Davies to Mane, Mane. And it's oh, a mix-up at the back. Bellingham can't get there. And now with Chaboa over the top and Thomas. Oh, Thomas, what are you doing? What are you doing? And that's a great save by Guerrero. He, I believe, if I am right, he is Mexican. I want to check that before I make the joke I was going to make about him being able to jump that high and run so fast to escape Trump's wall. And the ball, oh, well, oh, well, what's he doing? What's he doing? Why have you chose now to have the worst match of your career? What are you doing? Once again, found in no man's land, doing absolutely nothing. Chaboa here plays the ball in a... I mean, it's not great there. He, he tries to Superman punch. What do you think the ball is? It's not a bomb that you have to get out of the stadium. All you have to do there is literally catch it. Oh, what a disaster. Half from Koble. In fact, that's so severe. Adios. Mayer comes on. That is so bad. Get your walking orders, you idiot. I was going to say something else then. And we're 2-1 down again. Davies now to Mane. Mane to Kimmage. Back to Davies. Davies back to Noya. Noya to Upper Meccano. Upper Meccano to Chalboa. Chalboa now to... It's with Kimmage. Bellingham's got there. It was lanky legs working. Shade... Can he throw it into the box? He throws it in. It's over. It's out to Guerrero. Guerrero back to uh, Stahoud. Adiemi is there with the goal. No flag up. Not offside. Just what we want to see from Kareem Adiemi, the German wonder kid, who I think is right should rightfully have been top of that. Well, he wasn't even on the... Oh, no, he got to be under 20 to be on the next gen list. That's why he's 21. But, oh, what a ball from... What a ball to Kareem Adeyemi. Ozkan needs to come off. The Turkish man, I think he's Turkish, at least needs a break. So Giovanni Reina will come on. Does my joke make sense? No, he's Portuguese. So my joke didn't make sense at all. He's bloody Portuguese. But with a name like that, you can't blame me for mistaking him for a Mexican in truth. Pavard, though. Pavard to Chalboa. Chalboa back to Pavard. And Reina, there he is. The hard-working American with the Italian name, Giovanni Reina. And the ball is up the field to Upper Meccano, who passes it back to Davies, who is now going to just run down this left-hand side and cross it because Thomas can't get there. And look at that. Look at that disgrace. Thank God. Thank God Thomas, well, I never let to say his last name, is leaving the club this summer. He wanted to discuss his options at the end of the contract. I declined the conversation, so he's leaving. Damn good. Bring on Emre Jan. You know it's bad when I'm substituting you for Emre Jan, the muppet who left Liverpool to go to Juventus to end up at Dortmund. Oh, God, and this has been a disaster for us. And Emre Jan now to Shade. Shade. Back and Shade's lost to a man. He loses it, and now it's with Shade. It's over the crowd. And Brandt, Brandt put it past the post. Oh, Pavard, I think, has got a touch there. And Guerrero now needs to throw this in. Throw it in. Throw it in and throw it in again. Oh, God, and we can't get it in. We've got to go attacking. 
we've got to go attacking because this means we can't drop a single point for the rest of the season. And it's now going to be with Guerrero. The Portuguese, man. Can he put this in? No, he can't. It's off someone's big fat head and it's in Neuer's meaty grasp. Oh, Jesus. What what an end to an episode this could be. Delict to Sabitza, Sabitza to Kimmich, Kimmich now to Musiala, Musiala to Davies, who's just going to walk, just walk. Honestly, you can walk past them, can't do anything. He generally can't do anything, Sean. He's like, um, when you, oh. Musiala. Amaya makes a save, hallelujah. This has just been absolutely disgusting from this team. That is going to be the end of the match. We'll be back for the final two, if we're still in it. If not, I'm just going to go all the way through now to the conclusion of the season, and you'll see the transfer special next Saturday. I hope you had a good day. I hope you're having a good day, should I say. Please like, share, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on. All is free if you want more of this lovely commentary, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.